Hey folks, welcome back to this channel. Today we will see how we can create a clean architecture inside of a fast, uh, with the Fastify application. So today we will see how we can structure an infrastructure, an uh, infrastructure folder and an application folder to create a sort of hexagonal architecture using uh, Fastify. This is a simple example, okay? I don't want to go to, I don't want to uh, deep dive in this uh, solution because basically also the structure of a project depends basically from a project in set or from the team. But this is an example that you can do this also with Fastify because uh, many times people uh, think that there is, with Fastify is impossible. So now don't waste time and let's jump in it. One of the problems that uh, many developers uh, told me when we talk about Fastify is they don't have uh, an idea of how, we can, how they can structure the Fastify application and uh, they prefer to use uh, Express or Nas.js. So in this uh, video, I try to show you how you can create an hexagonal architecture using Fastify. Basically, this is a, a possible solution to build an hexagonal architecture. You can also use other approach if you want. But this is an example to uh, show that is it, is it possible also with Fastify. It's not uh, a rocket science, you have only to understand how to handle all the stuff. So let's start from this and uh, now I want to show you how you can build your clean architecture using Fastify. So for this example I decided uh, to use uh, another an approach of uh, infrastructure and application. So in the um, in the run application, basically is always the same. I just add some stuff to prevent to log some uh, some data, but it's not a problem. And I also change the query stream parser using uh, QS just because I implement uh, the sort okay of uh, of the list. And uh, using QS, we can also use the um, array in the query string with the um, with the bracket in reality. So now I just want to show you how you can create your application folder. So in the application folder, there is all your business logic, okay? And the interface of your business. Basically in this, in this uh, project, uh, I have only an entity called post, but you can scale this also in, in, a, big, uh, in a big project with many entities in reality. So inside of the application, there is the index that exposes basically the post in this case, list of the post, and inside of the post there are a different uh, file. The model, in this case, the model is the model that describes the expected type for different uh, methods in this case. The create post has the title and the content, the update the updated post is a partial of the create post, and the post is an object with ID, Created that, updated that, and the create post. So the post contain all the, the property of the post in this case, um, all the, the title, the, the content, the ID, the created that, and the updated that. Then I create a post repository. This is the repository to, go, uh, to, to create the, 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 the data assets layer, basically. Using the repository, you can uh, divide, you can create uh, an abstraction between the implementation of uh, your uh, um, of your database, of how you can retrieve data from the database, and uh, the repository is the API that describes what uh, is expected from this implementation. So in this case, the iPost repository contains a create that have uh, that accept the created post and return a promise with the created post. They find all that accept a pagination and a sort by. In this case, the sort by is an array that contains a, a list of tuple in reality with the name of the property and a, and 
the direction if it's ascending or descending and return the paginated result with the count and the data, the, the list of the post. Then defined by ID that return in this case the post and return a promise with the post or undefined because if the post doesn't exist in this case return undefined and not throw a, and doesn't throw an exception. The same is for the update that return post and undefined but doesn't throw an exception and the delete is the same. Okay, this is why because I decided to handle uh, the exception only inside the service part. So the post service is a, in this case is a class. You can use a class or also function. It's not a, a problem if you use function because you are in JavaScript, but if you want to use class, use class. In this example, I decide to use a class, but basically I prefer to use function if I can. And in this case, I decide the, the post service in the constructor accept the implementation a post repository. In reality, at the end, this is the implementation of the iPost repository. But you don't need to understand how it is uh, how the post repository is implemented. But just uh, for the post service is just enough to understand that the post repository um, respect the iPost repository. Okay, and then in this case, you can cre uh, create the you can create the create uh, method to create and call the post repository the find all this is this example is pretty simple and as you can see in reality uh, i call uh, the, the repository again but for instance uh, for the find by id in this case i can return the post and uh, then i handle the handle not found if the post doesn't exist this handle not found as you can see is an asset function in javascript in typescript okay this uh, function accept a post that can be a post or undefined and the id and uh, as you can see this syntax say that this is an asset uh, function that uh, check if the post is in is of type post basically if uh, the post is uh, undefined in this case we can throw a not found exception this is a this is an exception created by me inside of this file. As you can see, is a class that extends the error, accept a message, and also set the prototype to this, uh, to this, um, to the same class. Then, in this case, as you can see here, um, this the benefit of this uh, asset function is this one. So, as you can see here, uh, the result is. Uh, a post not a post or undefined and uh, the result uh, the benefit of this handle not found uh, function is this one so as you can see the post now is post or undefined if the the post pass this function we are sure that the post is of type post as you can see here is post or undefined here is post because what happened in this in this function is that if you have a post undefined, you throw an error. And this syntax is to say that okay, I want to assert that the post is not post or undefined, but is a real post. Okay, and in this way you can also have the benefit of TypeScript to say that okay, here if I don't pass through if I don't pass through this function, uh, I throw an error, okay, in this case, the not found exception. As in this case, I have the post updated and I can return it. This is the business logic for your application, okay? Now we have to see how to implement the infrastructure. So how we can implement the, the concrete class that go to the database, retrieve the data, okay? And we can do this inside of the infrastructure folder. Inside of the infrastructure folder, the, um, there are two new folders, the DAO folder and the service folder. The DAO folder is uh, the folder where we implement the repository. Okay, In this file, in, in this folder, we have the concrete uh, class that go to the database, uh, to Postgres, uh, to MongoDB or wherever they have to go. So, in fact, there is a post DAO. As you can see, there is a class called post DAO that implements the iPost repository. 
this uh, this class in reality does uh, the same stuff that we already see before in the previous uh, video but uh, basically i create a default select field to uh, return the id the title and the content and uh, as you can see in the constructor the this uh, this uh, this class accept the connection to the database so the db the kinsley database the kinsley object and uh, we have to implement each every method so the creator in this case called the db insert uh, call the list of db insert into post pass the value return the list of the of the field and execute the result as you can see here the result is a post if uh, there is an error i want to throw an error because there is something that uh, has wrong I, I, I and i don't uh, handle it basically and uh, basically the result will uh, will be that uh, we will send a internal server error for instance in this uh, as uh, in this case there is the find all okay the find all in this case uh, accept a, pagin a pagination and the sort so as you can see the i have to create two query one for the count so i have to call the database select from the post and using the fn i can call the count of the d inside of uh, of the of the um, of the um, of the table and then using another another query i can call the um, the select of the of the post order by the order received from the request and uh, call uh, and limitate the and limitate the result with the limit and the offset and return the, sel the selected uh, field and execute it i can uh, use promise all to um, to wait for the for the result of both of the of the query in this case and then in the counter result and in the post result i have i will have the the true result then what i can do is return the the expected type so in this case the count and the count is the count result dot count or zero and the data re uh, received from the post result basically the same is for the find by d they are always the same this is the implementation of the post out in reality then there is the services the services is the way when we can merge together the real repository and we can create the instance of our post service okay so what uh, what happened here here we can create the uh, post service and the post DAO and we can decorate our Fastify instance using the decoration. In this case I create the Fastify the, um, the post DAO and I pass the Fastify.db the connection to the database the Kingsley object in reality and then I also um, create the post service and, and I pass the post repository okay and then I decorate the the, the instance of my server using post uh, post service with the concrete uh, class of the post service and also i add the, the information for typescript so now what i can do is go in my post delete for instance and as you can see i can call directly app dot post service dot delete okay or I can call get uh, app dot post service dot find by ID and pass directly the post ID or call the find all pass the offset the limit and the decoded the decoded sort because uh, the sort is a string I have to uh, uh, recreate it in a, in a, in an object that uh, expected for the query or the patch the same and uh, in this way we can divide the application part and the infrastructure part now we can see the result in action before going to the demo uh, i also have to show you this part i also register the services in the application obviously as the services plugin uh, uh, doesn't appear in the fastify instance okay so now i can go in the terminal and call okay uh, run the application and now i can go to my postman 
and in this case I can call again my get and as you can see now I can retrieve the data already uh, saved before I can also call the post by ID with ID 1 or with ID 10 and as you can see now there is a problem I, th I throw a new exception in this case the not found exception and as you can see now the result is the internal server error we will see how to fix this problem in the next video for now this is not a problem for this uh, for this uh, video but uh, in the next video we will fix it uh, in a very simple way then we can call the post so as you can see we can call uh, the post and we will save the uh, created uh, response we can call the patch uh, in this case let me go to the second uh, yep with the change title if i call <coughs> the third as you can see also here the problem is that we will we 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 will save the um, internal server error and the same is for the delete if i call the delete of uh, an existing uh, post we, we receive the internal server error but if i call for instance the post the delete of the post 2 as you can see the status is uh, 200 so if I go back to my uh, post, I have the 1, the 4, and the, uh, the, 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 the post with ID 1, 4, and 5. Pretty simple. As you can see, in a very simple way, you can also divide your application and use a clean architecture also if you are using Fastify. Okay, as you can see, also structure the app. Your, uh, your clean architecture with Fastify is not uh, trivial, okay? You can do this without any problem. You just need to understand uh, how you want to handle your project and how to, uh, how to split the application using the hexagonal architecture. Basically, you can also uh, find other uh, package in the uh, Fastify community that allow you to create inversion of control using Fastify. I don't uh, love too much uh, this approach in a node application, but if you are interested, you can go in the Fastify uh, website and find uh, it uh, them in the in the community plugin if you want. Okay, in the next video we will talk. Uh, about uh, how to handle the custom error in our Fastify application to return the right code status and the right response. So until next time, I hope uh, you enjoy this content and if you like it, please hit the like button below. And if you wanna stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy coding and see you, bye bye.